sports show. I'm your host, Robert. Week seven of the NFL football season is upon us. Week six, not so great. Six and eight, one loss. Five and nine against the spread. Seven and seven on the over under. Year to date, just as mediocre. 53 and 38, one loss. 40 and 51 against the spread. 47 and 44, the over under. Yeah. Struggle on this year. Um, Currently, we have 15 NFL teams above 500. We have another seven that are three and three. Then we have the two no, uh, no win teams, Cleveland and San Francisco. So 24 of the 32 teams, or 22 of the 32, are either at 500 or above. It, which tells me we have a lot of teams that have a shot at a playoff. Playoffs this year, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs coming off their loss, first loss of the year. This is the fifth time that Kansas City has been the final undefeated team. In the zero, in the previous four, they failed to make the playoffs. <laughs> Crazy nuts. Um, Chiefs five and one versus the Oakland Raiders on Thursday night football. The Raiders are two and two. Chiefs are three and on the road. The Raiders are one and two at home. Big AFC West matchup. Kansas City's favored by three. Seems like this year the road teams win on Thursday night. Um, so the season started off in Foxborough and Kansas City upsetting the Patriots. Here the Chiefs are the favorite. I am taking the Chiefs. They're favored by three. I got them covering and over on the 47 and a half. Next, we have the New York Jets at 3-3 three and three versus the Miami Dolphins at 3-2. and two. Big AFC East matchup. The uh, Jets are only, what, a game and a half out of the division. Um, it was pointed out to me by a viewer in one of the comments section that, yeah, I've been saying the Jets were trash all year. Um, they're 500. They're one of 22 teams at 500 or above. They have a legit shot at making the playoffs. Um, so I will... They are a lot better than I thought they were. Um, playing the Dolphins, 3-2. Three, three, three and two. Jets are 1-2 and two on the road. Um, Dolphins are 1-1 one, one at home. I am actually... The line is Miami by 3. I'm giving the 3 points to the Jets. I'm taking the Jets to win, cover. I'm taking over on a 38.5. Next, we have the Carolina Panthers, 4 and 2 on the season, versus the Chicago Bears, 2 and 4. Um, Panthers are 3 0 on the road. Bears are 1 and 2 at home. Carolina favored by a field goal. Carolina, Carolina winning, cover the field goal, and over on the 40 and a half. Next, we have the Tennessee Titans at 3 and 3 versus the 0 and 6 trash Cleveland Browns. Um, Tennessee is favored by six and a half. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 39. Next, we have another 3-3 three three team, the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the 2-4 and four Indianapolis Colts. Um, big AFC South matchup. Unsure when Andrew, I think, I'm not sure if Angel is coming back this week or next week. I didn't look that up before the video. Um, Jags are favored by three. I got them winning, covering, under on the 40. Next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 2-3 and three, versus the 3-2 and two Buffalo Bills. Bills are undefeated at home this year. The Bills are favored by a field goal at home. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 40. Next, we have the Baltimore Ravens, 3-3 three and three, versus the Minnesota Vikings, 2-1. and one. Uh, Vikings favored by 5.5 and a half at home. They're 3-1 and one at home this year. I got them winning, covering the 5.5, and, and under on the 39.5. Next to the Arizona Cardinals at 3-3 three and three versus the Los Angeles Rams at 4-2. and two. Now there's a big surprise this year. The Rams are favored by 3.5 and a half at home. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 47.5. It's the big NFC West matchup. Next to the New Orleans Saints at 3-2 and two versus Green Bay Packers at 4-2. and two. Packers are undefeated at Lambeau this year. Aaron Rodgers was my uh, first round pick in my fantasy football draft. And Jordy Nelson was my second pick. 
Aaron Rodgers got me zero points last week. Jordy Nelson got me like two or four or something, nothing. Rodgers is out for God knows how long, possibly the rest of the season, that broken collarbone. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. Luckily, I have Carson Wentz as my backup quarterback on my fantasy football team. So, yeah. That, that'll work. Um, yeah, I'm not sure Green Bay can come back from this this year. We'll see. But New Orleans favored by six on the road. I get them winning. I get Green Bay covering the six. I'm taking under on the 48. Next, we have the Dallas Cowboys minus his equal Jack Elliott. At 2 and 3 versus the 0 and 6 San Francisco 49ers. Um, Dallas favored by 6 on the road. Shouldn't have a problem here without Elliott. Um, Dallas winning, covering, and over on the 47. Next, we have the Denver Broncos at 3 and 2 versus the Los Angeles Chargers. At 2 and 4, AFC West matchup. Uh, these two teams met in week 1. Denver won 24 21. The Chargers are 0 and 3 at home. With all that said, the line is Chargers minus one and a half. I'm giving the one and a half to Denver. They win. They cover. Over on the 42. Next, we have the Cincinnati Bengals at two and three versus the four and two Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers favored by five and a half at home, winning, covering under on the 41. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks at three and two versus the New York Football Giants at one and five. Uh, Seahawks are favored by five and a half. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 38 and a half. Next on Sunday Night Football, we have the, the Super Bowl 51 rematch. The Atlanta Falcons at three and two versus the four and two New England Patriots. As we all remember, Super Bowl 51, New England won 34-28 in overtime, with one of the greatest collapses in Super Bowl history by the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are 2-0 on the road, while well, the Patriots are only 1-2 at home this year. Patriots favor by 3.5. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 55. And on Monday Night Football, we have the NFC East matchup. We have the 3-2 Washington Redskins going into Philadelphia versus the 5-1 Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles are 2-0 at home. Washington is 1-1 on the road. Washington is one road win. Or, excuse me, that was a home win for them. Philadelphia's only loss was week one versus the Washington Redskins, 30-17. to I think the Philadelphia Eagles are just a little bit better right now. Um, I got Philly, the line is Philly by four and a half. I got them winning. I got them covering the four and a half, and I'm taking under on the 48 and a half. All right. We'll wrap up NFL week number seven. Check out Robert's Sports Show for the NCAA week number eight. For the WWE Hell, or sorry, WWE Tables, Ladders, and Chairs preview. Also look for the 2017 MLB World Series preview. And for the NASCAR Hollywood Casino 400 preview. And for the NASCAR Xfinity Series round of Eight playoff preview. As always, thanks for watching our report show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Our report show, your YouTube leader sports channel content.